thank you so much, Jess. Um, faculty, administrators, friends, parents, and graduating members of the class of 2013, welcome. And thank you for the opportunity to join you on this memorable occasion. I never attended my high school graduation here. Five years ago, I went a free trip around the world and delivered my speech over the internet from a hotel room in Spain. I watched the ceremony on a small screen, so it's so nice to join you all today in person. I've been working on documentary films in 45 countries that have aired on National Geographic, Travel Channel, and international stations, and I can proudly say it all started here. So the class of 2013, people will be curious of two things when you leave this town, where you're going and where you came from. And when you answer where you came from, people will say, no, no, where are you really from? I've never met anyone from the Cape. And then you'll say, no, I grew up there. And they'll say one of three things. They'll say, oh, my grandparents have a house in South Dennis. <laughs> or, no, seriously, I've never met anyone from the Cape. Or they'll say, do you know John? And you'll go, that's ridiculous, it's a huge island. And you'll go, you know what? He surfs at Nossip, right? And they'll say, yeah, he just moved off Sandwich, and now he's doing this own other thing. And you'll say, OK, and that's what it means to be a Cape Codder in the real world. <laughs> and to the other, where are you going? It's such a nonchalant question. Where are you going? Mom, I'm going to the grocery store. Dad, I'm going to go out with friends. Miss Kelly, I am going to try really hard on this vocab test. <laughs> so, but right now, let's, let's get this out of the way. I want you to make a promise to me. Hands up, scouts on our thing. Right hand. Actually, no, 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 do your Cape Cod arm. You know what I'm talking about? All right, hand on your heart. Hand on your heart. Actually, no, hand on your heart wish. All right, I want you to promise me something. I will be passionate about whatever I am doing. Ready? Repeat. I will be passionate about whatever I am doing. Awesome. Nothing says individuality. Nothing says individuality like repeating something in unison together as a class. 1984, Dixon. I want you to love what you're doing so much that it becomes your life mission to share that fire with others. Like Miss Chalak, she is so passionate about your future and caring for you that whenever you see her, you just feel this love and energy and warmth that is akin to getting a new puppy going into a bakery and she just... <laughs> band, watch Miss Richard. Even down to her hair, every fantastic last red coil is conducting whatever you are seeing in this way. That is passion. That is passion. And Mr. Houston, I dare you to walk by any American landmark without hearing his voice in your mind. <laughs> And someone who really inspired me, who unfortunately passed away before your time, taught me a really important and valuable lesson. Mr. John Ryan, uh, he used to teach computers here at the high school. And he taught me one thing, be a user of technology. And I really take that to heart, and I think that that embodiment of our future generation, this kind of gap and where we're going in different directions, it's really important to remember to be a user and not be used by it. And another thing, I want everyone to turn around. Everyone in the, in the room right now, turn around and take a look at Harwich High School. Think of all the tourists who have asked, what church is this? <laughs> The contractors said, really, another portable? <laughs> the buckets in the classrooms catching the rain. <laughs> and the parking spaces behind the school that the students paint, painted. Which, by the way, um, I checked and I was only here five years ago, so my parking space still has my name on it. So if you have the Honda Civic PWT, <laughs> <laughs> so, it's only been five years, but in all seriousness, this is a beautiful place, and it will stick with you forever. 
And in honor of this collective experience since 1964, that is Harwich High School, I'd like to ask um, Superintendent Cragen and Daniela Wallace to come up here for a gift on behalf of your class. So if you guys can... be a part of this and I just want to congratulate the class of 2013. Always follow your dreams. My grandfather said to me once this famous quote, if you do what you love you'll never work a day in your life. Always try to remember that. Thank you. Ms. Craigan, or Dr. Craigan, what is behind the curtain? Please reveal. <laughs> Danielle has painted this for the new building of uh, Monomoy High School to be presented for that. town or travel to distant places to see passion right up front. That, that is a work of passion. Coaches, athletes, artists, teachers, friends. By some luck or fate or alignment of the stars, you will be shaped by the amazing talents you have been exposed to. And growing up off this one lane highway, you'll encounter all sorts of inspired people as you travel around this town and Cape Cod. For me, it wasn't until I came back to Harwich that I realized the full potential of the people I met during my high school time here. Ms. Callie's continued commitment and health beyond this high school guidance experience into the real world. Heidi shoots for showing me how to step back and appreciate the beauty of Cape Cod. Jill Mason and the Channel 8 team team for running great programming around town. Nina Schussler, Bob Wilder, Harwich Junior Theater bringing a New York quality theater experience to the Cape. And the unwavering support and friendship of Dan Wolf, Cindy Beaton, Linda Markham, and the team at Cape Bear. And my parents and sister for being the first teachers in my life. <laughs> I don't know. So your class is known as the Pay It Forward group. So I asked my friends to help me share something with you. Just as we're sitting on opportunities all the time we don't even realize, <laughs> underneath your seats you'll find an envelope. Everyone check under your seats. There you go. <laughs> don't open it yet. They are adhered very sturdily. It's humid. We got it? All right. Inside this envelope, here we go. Inside this envelope, the first thing you'll find are five blank thank you cards and a pen. I want you... I want you to think of five people from this town in the Cape that shared their passions with you and using your best handwriting. I want you to let them know that impact that they've had on your life. You may not do it today. You may not do it to, did you? We'll get you one. Why does this do it? It's not due yet. It's not due for today, tomorrow, five years, 10 years down the road. This is your last, this is not your last homework assignment in life, but it will be your last party memory of Harwich High. I want you to hand these out to five people who helped you achieve your potential and get you here today. Because the reason we succeed is not the compilation of our sole efforts, but the combination of a forceful and inspired team, and this is that team. In that envelope, also, you'll find a gift from an exceptional company that has helped me grow and learn and become a better citizen on the Cape. Dedicated to bringing a human experience to travel and ingenuity to the Cape, 
Dan Wolf and the team at Cape Air have really empowered and inspired me to pursue my passions for film and travel. And I believe they are about to inspire you as well. On behalf of Linda Markham, Dan Wolf, and the team at Cape Air, in that envelope, every graduating senior will be receiving a savings bond. So please just follow the instructions inside the envelope to receive your savings bond thanks to Cape Air. They believe in you, this town believes in you. We all believe in your ability to change the world for the better. Go forth, be passionate about what you're doing. We made that promise, remember, it's a thing. Be thankful, be yourselves, congratulations.